Hello from Bryson City. Time again for another art lesson. I'm here with Betsy. Hi guys. <laughs> we are going to do oil pastels today. So if you have paper, if you have oil pastels, ready to go. If you don't have oil pastels, a good replacement is crayons. Not exactly the same, but you can get some of the same effects. And they do kind of mark the same when you're marking on the paper. They feel the same as oil pastels. Um, if you don't have oil pastels, if you don't have crayons, what can I use? Colored pencils, soft pastels. You can follow along with anything that will mark and make Things that we're going to show you today with oil pastels, you can use with just about anything. Um, so we got our paper ready. We got our pastels ready. And we are ready to go. So, here we go. I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm drawing a dragon. You're going to start off with drawing a dragon? I'm just starting out with a detail of the face. You can see because it's going to be like... Get it, All right. Get it, get it. <laughs> well, what I'm going to do to start off with while you're drawing your dragon, I'm going to break out the old apple again. Do -do! Apple! So, so as a bit of inspiration for my still life. And so I'm going to draw it as you see it there on the camera. So we're going to start off just some red. One of the things that's very nice about your oil pastels is they are great for layering and building up a lot of color. So they work very similar. As I mentioned earlier, very similar to crayons, except crayons are wax. And once you kind of get your surface built up with them, they're not going to take any more uh, color or any more material on top. With oil pastels, you can keep building up your surface. So they're very nice. Sometimes I like A little bit of orange. I'm just progressively going down the color, the colors up here and getting heading towards yellow, eventually ending up at green. But just to show you guys the stuff that you can do with this. So as you can see, I'm really starting to lay some orange on top of that red and build up. Um, I'm going to go back to this darker red real quick for this area right here. But basically build up the color, the intensity of it. Get into our yellow here. See it's kind of blending together. Getting very interesting. We'll put some green in here. Let's go back to this medium red here. Just work it around. Alright, and then we have this inside the apple here. We have this um, kind of a gray, light blue area. So I'm going to start off with just a little bit of blue. Go with a little bit more light blue. And then actually get some gray, just a little bit. So I wanted to use the blue versus gray because... Overall, the gray is just, um, I think it'll wash the color out too much. All right, so I got a little shadow, and I'm going to blend it using my thumb here, just smudge it a little bit. Same thing on the outside. Let's get uh, let's go back to this light orange red, and let's mix. Let's get rid of that white. There we go. 
There's a little bit of this for our, a little bit of a stem that's in there that you can kind of see. All right, and then I'm gonna move over and grab some purple here. Purple on the apple. Yes, it's for the shadow. So we're gonna start going around the edge. Like that. We're gonna go to a darker, a darker blue. Also blend some of that in there too. As you can see on this orange and this red, the darker blue actually starts to end with a little bit of purple. It starts looking more like a black, which is okay. So and then we have our shadow here on the bottom. So I'm gonna come out with this blue just very lightly. Build it up slowly. Grab that gray again. Mix the gray in with the blue and kind of get it to uh, to blend. Maybe a little bit better on the bottom. And there we go. There's our apple. If you have a blending stump, you could use that, I'm sure. Betsy is drawing... I thought you were doing a dinosaur. Or is that a dinosaur? It's a dragon. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's just the body of the snake. Yeah. That's the outline. Good color blending up here at the top. Very nice. All right. Let's go back over here with the oil pastels again. Now we've yeah. done our apple. Um, I'm going to grab some brown here. Let's do a... Uh, Another part here. I'm going to quickly do a tree. So I'm going to outline the tree. I'm going to start off this tree, tree trunk with this uh, uh, it's a dark, more it's of a, a Van Dyke brown, dark brown. Looks very similar to burnt umber. So I'm just going to put a few marks in. I'm not going to fill this in a whole lot because I don't want this tree to really be brown. Yeah, it's, it's the dragon's fading because he died. <laughs> nice. I'm going to add, next I'm going to go with this olive brown. I'm going to start adding some of this into the tree. Just like this. Okay. I'll zoom in to show you. There's some, already some, um, Already some uh, color variation going on there. So next I'm going to come back and go with this red again. Uh, the vermilion hue. Just a little bit in there. There we go. Then with the blue. Okay. Cobalt blue. It's going to be our shadow. The shadow side. <laughs> Some burnt sienna. Let's see if they actually call it burnt sienna. They just call it brown. We'll mix that over here with this red. Just in little amounts. And back to our gray. Peel some of the paper off. That's the nice about um, oil pastels. You just peel the paper off and you're ready to go. So we're going to put the gray over all of it and blend the pieces together. Build it up. If you want to practice your oil pastels or pastels, you don't have a lot of paper, you can use old map board, old cardboard, 
the cardboard inserts that come in some of uh, our packaging. You can even draw on old paper bags if you like. I'm going to come in with a little bit of white. Lighten all that up. There we are. And then at the end, just a little bit of this black. Just a couple. There we go. So there's our tree trunk. Doesn't have to be, you know, this is, I guess you'd say more imagined, but let's say, for example, uh, last time I had somebody said something about drawing a birch, a birch tree. You could use, again, we're going back to this olive brown. Minecraft tree, too. A Minecraft tree. I'll show you guys all in the comments. I'll take a picture of a Minecraft and then show you guys. I'm a Minecraft player. Minecraft's better than Roblox. <laughs> Roblox is, like, takes forever. Uh, I, can't I heard something. Now go back in with the gray over the olive brown, just a little bit of the gray. We'll put some other limbs back in there because there's birch tree that way. And then finally, on top of all that, some white. Leave one side with the olive. Leave it kind of dark. Same thing with the parts that are gray in, in the background here that are lighter. Okay. So there's our tree trunks. We're going to go in uh, with this uh, Van Dyke Brown. It has a nice sharp edge. So all I'm going to do is come through and just... I think it was Michael Henson that mentioned something about birch trees. So I'm just kind of pushing it and rolling it a little bit. because we haven't done any green yet. So I'm just taking it and pushing it, making little, almost like dots. Okay. And then we'll come back in with some yellow. As you can see, it made those made that green really vibrant. And birch trees like to turn. I think that's what that is. They like to turn yellow in fall. So there are a couple different things there with our oil pastels. And just uh, if you want to do, whoa! <laughs> if you want to do a little bit darker on the shadow, uh, I've got the Prussian blue out of this set, and I'm just gonna Look, come through. Look, it's skin. It's, it's it's like a flesh tone, yeah. That's pretty nice. And it's very naked. <laughs> very naked. <laughs> no, it's just flesh tone, honey. Not very naked. <laughs> very naked. I'm going to patent that. That's going to be our new paint name for those of the people out there that like to come up with those crazy names for, for paint. Just a little bit of some blue to highlight that and then a little darker green. Let's see. There's Dragon. <laughs> I'm playing an evil monster or something. Let's see. There's darker green. Oh, no worry about making. Oh, wait. I've seen this before. I... Now I know what I'm drawing. John Morgana. I'm blaming that John. <laughs> what do you got going on over there? Let's turn and look. Let's 
seen this in movies. Oh, wow. Look at all that orange. That's wonderful. What the heck are you talking about? It's a it is. It's like, it's Morgana, but not Morgana. Uh, oh, I forgot the snakes in your head. Right. Medusa plus Morgana. I don't know. I'm letting you watch too many strange movies. What? So I think I've been letting you watch too many strange movies lately. You mean Stranger Things? <laughs> Maybe. Next week we're doing Stranger Things. Medusa hair. There's no Medusa yes, hair. Yes, Betsy wants me to show everybody how to draw a demigorgon. Um, and I don't even a demigorgon know. and Mike. I don't, Dustin, even, Lucas, I don't even know how to draw a demigorgon. So. I'm going to draw her. Well, you should nose. hey, you should draw those. Maybe I we'll, should draw them tomorrow. Yeah, maybe you could. Well, tomorrow we're painting. Just a reminder: tomorrow we are painting uh, like Jackson Pollock. So, <laughs> if you are interested in that, uh, join us again at eleven thirty. Uh, we'll show you some cool things. Um, we're going to use uh, FYI on that. We'll be using leftover house paint and house paint samples which you can go pick up at Lowe's uh, you can pick up a gallon a, a gallon mist tint at Lowe's for nine dollars and they normally sell that stuff for what 20 30 bucks so great way to um, save money save money get some cool paint I think I mentioned that before in the uh, um, acrylic painting uh, art lesson that we did uh, a while back that that's a great way to get cheap paint to you know gesso your canvases with unless you're actually wanting to use real gesso so just building up the area right here making it look kind of fun uh, let's grab this uh, this brown and we'll do we'll put a little, little bit in here Again, I like to use colors that I've already used on the picture in different parts of the picture. Um, I think that's one way to create some really good harmony. Here's a color we haven't used yet. This flesh, as Betsy said, this naked color. Um, we're going to add a little bit to the trees here. And then I'm going to put some down here. All right. I can't even draw them right now. I hate oil pastels or oil pastels. You don't like oil pastels? They're hard to draw with. My excuse for all those people out there who agree with me, they are hard. Make the anti-oil pastel fan base. I can draw a Jimmy Corgan. I just I don't know how to draw the characters. <laughs> See, that's Mike. I'm trying to draw Mike. I stood up. I will draw as a miracle. Bit of this light blue in here for the for the sky, and then we're gonna come back in with some of this a little bit of this gray. Season two, I I cry. Season two, I cry. I don't know. It's just heartbreaking in season two. <laughs> Because Bobby dies. Bobby dies. Well, I don't cry. For some reason, I don't think it's scary. Kind Blend all this funny. together right here for the sky. As you notice, I'm picking up the green and all this other stuff in there as well. So we'll 
and we'll go to the black over here. So we'll address that here in just a second. Still working on it. Blended. All right. And that says that we picked up some of that green, so I'm going to come through with some of this darker, and we'll fill in just a little bit. I wish I could hurry up this season before. I really and want to see some of this again. really dark, dark, much darker blue. So these bushes in the in the background here have a uh, very dark appearance to them, very shadowy appearance. And then very often, far off in the distance, there we'll come back in with the white, same kind of technique that we did for the leaves on the, um, the tree over here. And just put in a few clouds. Make these it. splotchy clouds that look like something out of the uh, tiki room, the enchanted tiki room at, at Disney World. So, so there we go. Here's a there's our picture. Let me zoom out so you can see the whole thing. Oil pastels, very nice. Now it is easy to draw the thing from Tangle. Symbol from Tangle. I can draw that. You got that too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just a little black won't make it look bad. So up here on your face? Nothing happened. That's okay. No, no, no. Let's let's work on your face a little bit here. So let's do some circles for, for around the eyes. Try drawing Mike. Uh, we'll just draw a person. We'll make it kind of generic. And then we'll we'll build it into some, something. Okay, a little bit of this light blue. Watch this. I'm going to do one side like this. Will you get the red and draw your mouth a little bit better? There you go. I don't even see who that is. <laughs> Are you trying to make Vanderbilt? No. Or it looked like him. Make <laughs> <Nick> mustache. <laughs> mustache? Mm hmm Now it's Professor. Now it's Vanderbilt. Mr. Vanderbilt. Yes, it's totally Mr. Vanderbilt. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Just silly. What about this big splotch in the middle? He's got bags under his eyes. He's really tired. <laughs> what you got there? Let's see. Just a yellow ball or something. Very cool. If a little touch of orange. And then the rest is this. this that, that pale yellow. It's a very nice pale yellow. And then I brush with my fingers to make a design. Very cool. See? Look, it's a, now it's a shrimp. It's a shrimp. That's what it sort of looks like if you put a... Um, Look, no, there's his eyes, there's his mouth. You outline him and draw his... Um, use the red or the orange and draw some other, a couple other things on there. Yeah. All right, well, I think that's it for today. We're missing a couple. So... <laughs> oh, wait, we're not. Here, I'm going to flip the camera so around. All right, well, if you have any questions... Um, 
feel free to post them in the comments. I'll try and get, get in there and get you an answer. Uh, if Again, if you draw one, you want to share it, post that in the comments too. We'd love to see it. Um, otherwise, stay safe. Be careful out there. Um, hope you guys have a great Tuesday. See you tomorrow. Take care.